the game has been flying very high recently and it looks like that is going to continue on a while longer. We are still expecting an operation, a major in October, the Source 2 update and also a new case somewhere. All these events are likely to happen somewhere around this winter and that is going to have major effects on the market. All those updates have a positive effect on the market in the long term and this makes me ask the question. Are we going to have a winter hype? Well in this video I will answer that question and will also talk about how you should act if something like that does end up happening. So first of all, what are we expecting in the market and why? The Rio 2022 Major. In the beginning of October we are going to have the next CSGO Major in Rio. This Major will bring new sticker capsules and new souvenir packs. It might also include patch packs, although if Valve are too lazy to do them, they won't do it because too few people are interested in buying those anyway. This event is already a certainty at this date, unless we somehow get a major explosion of COVID, but that is very unlikely. An operation. We are also expecting another operation somewhere very soon, or at least in the fall or winter. Since that is the time they always push a new operation and Valve are definitely going to do another one since they make an absolute massive amount of money from them. This will bring three or four new operation collections with new skins at least, and we can also expect a ton of new agents, and there are also usually one or two sticker collection and one patch collection. It is an absolutely massive happening in the market and it always comes with big things. The last couple of operations dipped the prices of a lot of items in the steam market due to people selling their old items to buy the pass or other things in the operation. This year that might be different however since a lot more people are anticipating this dip and already have steam balance ready to spend when it does come. I don't personally think it's worth selling your items just to buy them back due to the uncertainty of it all but who knows. Source 2. I know you're probably tired of hearing about Source 2 by now but we can't ignore it here. Valve are working very hard on Source 2 still and we have seen even more leaks about this recently. I won't go into details here but they are essentially trying the Source 2 version out on the official version of the game which would mean we are getting closer to a release. Even if we don't get it now we will most likely get it this year or early next year most likely so it will play a role this winter season. A new case. They also release new cases every so often but this kind of depends on the operation and other stuff happening in the market so we can't be certain on a date. They do like to release a case with the new gloves or knives from the new operation case after the operation is discontinued so we can expect that to happen at least after the operation. But the operation will last for at least 16 weeks because that's how many weeks there are with missions in the operation and they will most likely make it even longer which is what they did with the last few operations so we don't need to worry about this case for now. All these events have slightly different effects on the market but in general they mean more people get interested in the game. The operation does sometimes dip the market in the beginning but it is also known to recover and even go higher soon after that dip. Uh, apart from that these events make things in general more expensive because more people means more demand and the supply doesn't grow at least not as much as the demand does. That situation means higher prices and with the nature of the CSGO market it could cause some hype, FOMO and in general weird price trends in the near future. There is another thing happening in the winter but this has nothing to do with the game in general but it does affect spending in game anyway. It's the season of giving or as I like to call it the season of spending. A lot of people are giving away money and a lot of people are also inside so this is very good for the game. For example, if a kid gets Christmas money, what will he buy? Most people don't get enough money from just Christmas to buy a new PC or a new laptop, so it's either something gimmicky that gets old very fast, like an item that is expensive but not too expensive, or assuming that they are interested in CSGO, they might buy something in-game that you could sell again for money if you get bored of it and with that balance on Steam you could buy a game and still enjoy it afterwards. On average there are going to be lots of kids and teens who will get money and who will buy skins for that money. Extra money in the game is always great and it essentially makes these other effects even stronger. Well, if all of this is going down this winter, then why are we already talking about it now? Well, mainly to get ahead of the hype and FOMO, but 
Also to look ahead and to see where the market is going, which gives you perspective on the investments you already have right now. I want to do this to give you options in your investments and to buy in or sell if you still want to. I personally wouldn't sell right now due to the packed winter we are headed to, but everyone has different circumstances that can change things. If you already bought in last time when the market was really low and now you already have like 80% or 100% or even more percent profit on items, which is very possible with some cases or some other items, it's very safe to cash out now and just have the money. You don't need to keep your items in here because it's always at risk when they are in here and when you get the money that's just safe profit. Prices are quite high right now for the normal market. But with the CSGO market, you never know what is high or what is low until after it is passed. And remember that the CSGO market can and will always surprise you. I would rather buy in at a stable point like right now and just keep it until next year than not doing anything now and buying in only when the market is strongly trending up again. People often are afraid of investing in something that is flat and they prefer to buy something that has just gone up. Because it shows them the item actually has potential to profit because it did just profit. But that that makes no sense. If something has just gone up, it will go back down and that will leave you burned. If you believe in the CSGO market and you believe that the item you are buying is going to be a good long term investment, you should never buy in when it has just gone up, but rather when it just went down or is stable since that gives you way more profit and way more safety. And it's not like the items you should buy haven't proven themselves before. For example, look at the breakout case. The breakout case is a veteran investment at this point, it has gone up in periods at least 12 times and there is no reason for it to stop now. Now, this case has just had another spike followed by a dip and is now stable again, so if you want to buy something safe, go for it. Although I have to say you will probably get a higher return on a different case or on different items, so do your own research and choose something yourself. In short, if you still had plans to buy something, do it before the next major or operation, because the game might just go crazy after that and I don't want you to FOMO into anything after that, so think about your plan for the next little while. With this huge player number, Valve are very inclined to release an operation to cash in and get that sweet, sweet money, so I wouldn't wait until the major comes around for any investment you have planned. In general, it is a great time to own CSGO items, they are doing great and the game is doing awesome as well. In short, I do think we are going to have a lot of price increases in the market this winter season, which could result in a hype spike. I guess we can say we are probably going to have some kind of winter hype this year. Especially if the operation and the other updates planned get more new players into the game, because new and inexperienced players are more susceptible to FOMO and buying in at the peak. This is bad for them of course, and I will try to get them to not do that, but good for people who already invested at a smart and low time. With Valve most likely releasing another operation soon, we need to talk about what it will contain and how you can make some extra money by simply doing the operation. That and much more will be in this video, so make sure to check it out to get some free cash. If you are bored of your old skins or you just want to trade your bad skins up to something better, you can send me a trade offer. I trade at a low rate for almost all items, so link is in the description. If you're still watching, you are truly awesome. Thank you, goodbye.